so scared. Literally shaking, throwing up, shitting my pants. I need to get through that. Good morning, everyone. I'm starting my day by vlogging in the bathroom again. And this is the start of my vlog for my first day at the Shrewd School of Business as a BBA student. Yay! Technically, yesterday was my first day. Today is Thursday, September 8th, and it is 8 20 a.m. But yesterday, I didn't have any classes, so I was like, just really counts first day. So technically, I'm vlogging my second day, but it's my first day of classes. I'm not gonna lie, I woke up this morning and felt a little bit sick. Like my throat was a bit sore and I felt a little bit nauseous and I'm praying that it's not like anything serious. I literally hear people outside the bathroom and it's kind of awkward because I don't, they don't hear me vlogging. Anyways, right now I'm going to brush my teeth and then pick my outfit and then we're going to go to the student services building so I can get some financial things figured out. Let's get on with my favorite social link. Walking on the way to student center, and honestly, I still feel a little sick, so I don't know what's going on. Or, sorry, not the student center, student services. We'll update when I get there. and I finished my two classes today a little intro to business like introduction lecture which I fell asleep for half of it because I didn't get enough sleep last night and the second one I had my first history of capitalism class and then I went to get some food with my friends from my program just was walking past our stadium so thought you guys could take a look Anyways, and then we went to the break room. Well, we tried to go, but they said it was closed. And then we tried to go to a different one, but then all the games were being used, so we couldn't. So then my friend went to her class and then the two other ones went to Pioneer Village to go home. So yeah, that's been my day so far. Right now I'm walking back to my res and I'm just gonna chill there until I have to go to training for work because I got my first job on campus, yay, at the Gong Cha. So that should be fun. I've literally dreamed about working at a bubble tea place for like 20,000 years. So I'm excited for that. leftover Korean food from that place that my friend went to today. Why am I going upstairs with that book? Dumped it. So I put it in my fridge and I didn't realize that they had glass noodles in it until I saw my friend get it today and they were just all at the bottom. So I'm getting it from my fridge and I'm going to heat it up in my communal kitchen area. Mm. 
me show you what it looks like. It looks like that right now. Like all the oil and stuff is like congested. I don't, I don't even know if this is inflatable, but whatever. We'll see. something in this kitchen. Ooh, I could use a few more seconds. Anyways, I think there's something wrong with the water here because ever since I moved here and started like using it to wash my face, my skin has been so fucking dry, like actually insanely dry. So I stopped and I started using bottled water to wash my face and my skin was like normal. But I'm like, I can't be sustained on bottled water forever. So I'm glad that there's this like water station here. Hopefully it's filtered. Looking for utensils, but I don't think there is any. But here's a random tour of the fridge. And there's cereal gummies. Yeah. It's about 5.45 and I am heading to my first day on the job at Gongcha. This is training day. We're gonna see how it goes. Yay. Just finished my first training at Gongcha. I'm so freaking scared, like literally shaking, throwing up, shitting my pants. I did get free boba out of it though. He taught me how to make like eight drinks and I just went so fucking fast. Like I do not remember it and I feel like it's just gonna be embarrassing if I go back again. Obviously I'm gonna go back again, but like I'm prepared for the embarrassment, so I have to mentally prepare myself for that. Two hours later. It's almost 10, I think, right now. And my throat is getting more sore, so I don't know what's going on. Someone said that there was something going on at the closing ceremony, and I'm praying that it's not COVID or God forbid like monkeypox or something. I don't even know the symptoms for it, but I'm not allowed with it and I'm not trying to get sick. Especially during like the first week. Like that's just traumatizing. <sighs> Anyways, I think I already am sick, so we'll see what happens. But I got home from my bowl tea shift. I FaceTimed with my parents and my brother for a bit. And I think honestly I'm just gonna go to bed. It's kind of not very fun right now. And tomorrow I have to go to a party, so I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, if you are a grade 12 student, grade 11 student, any student who's wondering what someone's first day at Shul looks like, if you're considering Shul for business, um, that was what my first day looked like. It's definitely 100% different for every single individual that goes to Shul, but that was my first day. So. Hopefully, that gives you some insight on making an informed decision about where you want to go to university and seeing what life might be like. So that's my first day of Shulik. Hope you guys enjoyed. And since this is a vlog, I know that literally there's going to be like two people watching to the end. So whatever. And you're one of those two people. I love you. You're amazing. Um... I really, really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.